Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome to my channel. If you are looking for a warm, friendly worm community, you are in the right place. Today we're looking at the African Nightcrawlers in the Vermi Bag Low Mammoth. And one of the things that we're going to talk about today is pest management in the bin. I'm not sure if you can see the gnats crawling around here, but uh, whatever it was that I fed last time did have uh, a little gnat problem. So I am going to show you what I do at the end, how I control all of those gnats. So we have harvested twice within 30 days. So this bin is actually in really good shape here. It's got a lot of, of the bedding, which in theory should have prevented some of the, you know, the bugs from getting in here, but apparently not all. The worm bin moisture is looking really good. I've been working really hard to um, keep, keep the moisture, especially when the air conditioner's on in the house. Um, it is really a struggle to keep everything a moisture that the worms will like. So kind of turning things over here to see what we've got left from the previous feeding. And this uh, cabbage stem is, is one of the things but I'm not seeing anything else from that feeding. So this will be a good opportunity to feed them up and get them ready for the next three weeks. I feed them about every three weeks and that seems to work out really well. They do a lot of work and I also tend to not overfeed them if I feed them less frequently. That's obvious, right? <laughs> so looking at this here, I'm seeing nothing except for these stems from the cabbage and the broccoli and stuff. But let's take a look inside and see. Man, this is like wood. Crazy. I don't know if I can hold still long enough. There's actually some mites inside there as well right there by the tip of my thumb. So uh, it, takes, it takes the whole family of bin critters to eat things that are that tough. The little worms can't do it on their own. There's another piece we can pull open and see. Maybe. Lots of springtails in this one. So, yep. Lots of springtails and maybe some mites in there, but I don't see any of the, the worms in there. So it looks like the worms have eaten all of the fast food and they are ready for a big feeding. So if you've had bug problems in your bins before, like outbreaks of gnats, put it in the comment below. What did you do about it? And what do you think caused it? In my case, I think that maybe um, it got too warm and too wet and we just had a big bloom of gnats in here, in my opinion. Uh, I was working so hard to keep the bin at a good comfortable moisture that I kind of like overdid it a little. All right, so let's take and uh, stretch out this old bedding and we will use that for the base for our feeding. Uh, it looks like the broccoli is trying to grow again. Crazy. Not all of it's doing that, just like the newer, greener stems. So get that buried and we'll get some new food. All right, we've got a head of cabbage that just didn't make it. Had some, um, this is a candy roaster squash and it should be treated just sort of like a pumpkin where they're going to love it lots. And then I think I've got maybe some hummus and some greens, onions. So they should have a pretty good feeding. I'm definitely gonna be putting that cabbage way below over there. And some little jalapenos. Those are not gonna be any bad or big deal. Some shishitos. But this should be a good feeding for the next couple of weeks. Let's get them some bedding to cover up and then I'll show you what I'm doing about the bugs. Oh. 
All right, so that is a lot of bedding to cover that food, so hopefully no more bugs get in there. And let me show you what I'm doing. I have an entire video about this, but basically what I do is I just take a jar and I put some water in it and I put some vinegar in it and then one drop of dish soap. I actually have a whole video that I can link up top there. And then I kind of bury it in everything so that, you know, the worms don't get in. That's why they've got the, the plastic on here. And then I've poked some holes in here and the little gnats will actually crawl in here, but then they can't fly back out. And then they will drown in the soapy, vinegary water. And this works really, really well. Um, it is amazing. It's cheap. You know, if you've got a jar around, doesn't have to be a mason jar. Any old kind of glass that you can put like a, you know, sandwich bag over the top or something, poke some holes in it, some vinegar, some soap, some water, and you come back in a couple of weeks and you'll probably have hundreds of uh, dead gnats that have fallen in here. I've never had a worm get in. And now that I've said that, hopefully I haven't jinxed myself, but uh, I've never had any problems with any beneficial critters getting in there. All right, well, if you liked this little talk on worm bin bugs and my African night crawlers, go ahead and click that muddy thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos like this, I have a video right over here that you may just like. And if you've already seen that, YouTube thinks you're gonna like this video over there. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and everybody have a good day.